Hey guys, it's Bob again. Uh, today we're going to go over OCAT. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to set up your first EFI uh, without downloading somebody else's stuff or EFI um, from the get-go. So you can uh, start with as vanilla uh, EFI as possible. And today we're going to do OCAT. We did uh, Open Core Configurator in the past, but uh, today we're going to do a quick one on OCAT. So, what you want to do, and you can find all these links in the uh, description below, but if you Google OC Auxiliary Tools right there, that'll bring up the uh, cross-platform GUI management tools for OpenCore or OCAT. And so what you'll do is you'll click on there and then you can come over here to releases and then download the appropriate um, DMG for uh, your Mac if you're on a Mac book like me or Mac at all like me or if you've got a Windows machine uh, you can do it on Windows as well I've already got it downloaded so um, we're just gonna leave it at that uh, and I'm gonna hop over here into OCAT you've got nothing in any of these you can just go down through and make sure that there's um, nothing of importance uh, it does have information in there but it's just basic um, and nothing to be worried about anyway so if you come over here to the uh, stack of discs you can click on that and then you can um, pick out your processor uh, today we're going to do again a KB Lake um, like I did yet yeah, with the uh, open core configurator and we'll scroll down scroll back up because I missed it uh, coffee lake so here KB Lake so we'll do a seventh generation KB Lake uh, I like for the Dell 7050 the 18.1 um, um, iMac P list so we'll click on that and then it's just as simple as generate EFI and then it's going to tell us that it's uh, in our desktop is where it put the uh, folders we can just go ahead and say okay and then you can see that it's populated everything here and it's got uh, a little notification there that it's only compatible with open core version 9.2 um, you can update it if you want or you can use 9.2 uh, whichever uh, currently 9.2 is the most uh, up-to-date version uh, as you can see, if you watched my other video on Open Core, it's got that same um, SSDT plug and SSDT ECUSB-X AML in there. Um, and then delete, patch, quirks. Uh, you Basically, we're going to go over to Dortania's guide, and I'll show you how to find all that. Um, but it sets up a good bit of this uh, automatically. Uh, booter you don't really need to worry about in your um, your uh, device properties here you've got your um, your uh, graphics card and then that is also a second one for your graphics card I don't know why it did two um, but it'll get you started uh, you can go ahead and what I did was I went in and deleted one of these and made some adjustments over here to uh, suit my system uh, once I finally was setting it up to make everything work correctly. In your kernel, this one, if you again, if you watched Open Core Configurator, uh, Open Core Configurator only grabbed Lilu and Virtual SMC. Uh, this one's grabbing whatever green, which you're going to need for your graphics, the SMC processor, the SMC. Super I.O. and the Apple ALC, which you'll need for your um, your uh, sound card in some instances. Um, when I get into the uh, Dell 7050, um, I'm going to do a little bit different um, process on that. And I don't recall if I needed that or not. I think I still used it. Um, but there's some other fixes. It doesn't work just straight out of the box with the uh, Apple ALC text. And then, of course, you've got all your uh, patches, quirks, all that other good stuff up in there. Um, really, the only thing you're going to need to worry about is your quirks. And um, 
again when we go over the Dortania guide it's going to tell you that the custom asset BIOS uh, GUI here is for Dell systems and then you'll have another option for HP systems uh, if you haven't unlocked your CFG you're going to need this Apple XCPM CFG lock and then if you haven't modified your DVMT you're also going to need this disable IO mapper now if you go in and you use uh, the unlock CFG uh, tool and the um, the UEFI modify tool to actually modify those values to where um, they're correct uh, if you don't have those uh, settings in your BIOS like the Dell doesn't then um, you can uh, check that and not have it uh, ticked and you can also untick the uh, CFG lock if you fix them in your BIOS or use the tools to fix them but for now we'll just leave those checked and then um, in miscellaneous you've got uh, your tools here it doesn't actually download tools like the um, the uh, open core configurator did so you've got to go out and grab those yourselves um, and like I said you if you're going to modify your CFG and your your uh, DM DVMT you will need those tools uh, if you're not going to do that then you don't need to worry about the tools and you can just tick those boxes in the quirks NVRAM uh, down here you've got your boot arguments um, and if you remember on the open core I keep referring back to that because I did that one first and if you've watched that one and now you're watching this one um, or if you want some information about open core go watch that one but um, you had boot arguments already populated in your um, boot args whereas here you don't uh, at minimum you need to start off with dash V to make it dash V to make it boot in verbose mode and then there's a couple other ones that are are typical to put in there keep uh, SM something or another I forget exactly what it is right now uh, but you'll you'll add those in there um, to uh, your boot args and then your platform here uh, that's where you've got your Mac 18.1 uh, you can click generate and it'll populate some some um, serial numbers and system UUIDs in there for you uh, you can generate all those and then um, you can go into SM BIOS and it's populated pretty much what you need there uh, UEFI again you'll have some quirks that you may need to change based on that um, that uh, Dortania guide and then your drivers uh, if you're gonna do uh, the pretty uh, boot screen you're gonna need that open canopy and then HS or HFS plus and open runtime you for sure need but if you're not going to be doing anything and you just want the uh, the word list of options like Windows and Mac OS then you really don't need um, open canopy. Oops, I don't know why it switched, but then you won't need open canopy. All right, so uh, at that point you can save it, and what'll happen is it'll tell you right now we've got initial mode is illegal, so it can be auto texture graphics. So it'll tell you what problems you'll have, uh, if any. Uh, sometimes you won't have any. Um, so we go into UEFI. And then we'll drop over here to output initial mode and drop in auto just to make it happy uh, we'll close this box we'll hit save again and you can see that red goes away and you get a little check mark all right so if we go over back over here here's your Dortania guide Uh, let's see so what you want to do is you'll get started and then you'll go over here to con your configurations again we're doing KB Lake so we'll click on the KB Lake and that will tell you where you need to be with all your settings uh, so for ACPI if you go back over here 
you go into ACPI, it's going to tell you that you need to have um, these values, the USB-X and the SD plug, SSDT plug. Um, it will tell you if you have any quirks, you don't have any quirks. Your bootloader, um, again, it gives you information about some of the stuff. You know, again, no more quirks here in the bootloader. Device properties, um, you're, you're going to have to play with that to get your, um, your uh, graphics card working correctly. Uh, let's see, we'll go down here to kernel, and here's where the quirks were. I already talked about that custom SM BIOS GUID, uh, and that's for Dell or VIAO systems. Uh, you've got this one down here for uh, HP systems. And then again, it also goes down here and tells you what you need, enabled or not, and any information you need on each quirk. Uh, miscellaneous, same thing. Uh, pretty much you just go through all of this and you know set up your uh, quirks and everything else to the KB Lake or whatever processor you're using and then you've got a good place to start for uh, booting and installing and then after that you can make all your tweaks all right well thanks for watching guys you'll be able to find all the links to um, OCAT and the Dortinia install guide in the bottom. Um, I will also link to um, a guy that has an EFI for a Dell 50, but he in that EFI what you want to do is you want to grab the, the uh, CFG unlock and the um, UEFI modify tool. Um, I haven't found them anywhere else, but if you grab them out of his tools folder and put them into your tools folder, then at boot time you can um, use those. You'll also need clean R, or excuse me, clean NVRAM to um, clean out the uh, NVRAM between boots when you're attempting new. Um, like if you go in here to your display or device properties and you change any of these configurations then what you want to do is you want to clean out your NVRAM before you um, reboot with the new properties to make sure that you're starting with a clean slate and you're not having any of the old properties load and give you problems and then you're scratching your head trying to figure out why. Alright so anyway thanks for watching and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below I'll answer anything I can and then there'll also be the links for OCAT, Dortinius Guide, and the other uh, guys you UE, or excuse me, EFI with the UEFI modify and the um, CFG unlock. I'll also drop a link in the, the description for uh, Amazon. It's uh, an associate link and I get a kickback if you buy anything like USB drives for your install drives or if you can upgrade Wi-Fi or upgrade your network car or anything like that uh, I appreciate you stopping by there and using my link and uh, helping this channel out all right see you guys Bye.